non homogeneous first order recurrence relation so here it is case 2 if f of n and homogeneous solutions are not independent that means they are same form so what is the same form we'll see with an example suppose the question is solve a n minus 3 a n minus 1 equals to 5 into 3 raise to n n greater than or equal to 1 and a 0 equals to 2 so this is non homogeneous because here f of n is equal to 5 into 3 raise to n is non zero and it is first order because it is a n is dependent on its previous term it is only one term one previous term it is dependent so it is first order so the general solution is a n equals to a n h plus a n p that is this is the sum of homogeneous solution and particular solution so let us see how to find the homogeneous solution so again here by convert by making f of n 0 i will be getting a n minus 3 a n minus 1 equal to 0 so here d is nothing but 3 so therefore homogeneous solution is of the form a into 3 raise to n d is nothing but 3 here so a into d raise to n so now to find the particular solution you can observe here f of n and a raise to n are not independent why we say not independent here is your homogeneous solution is also 3 raise to n and uh, your f of n also is 3 raise to n so in this case i will be considering the particular solution is of the form b n into 3 raise to n in the previous case it was just b into 3 raise to n when it is uh, not independent it is b into n into th 3 raise to n so by substituting uh, a n equals to b n 3 raise to n i will be getting b n into 3 raise to n minus 3 b into n minus 1 into 3 raise to n minus 1 is equal to 5 3 raise to n so which is a common factor if i divide this whole expression by 3 raise to n minus 1 i'll be getting 3 b n minus 3 b n plus 3 b is equal to 5 into 3 so which implies and this 3 b n minus 3 b n gets cancelled so which says that b is equal to 5 so this 3 this 3 get cancelled so b will be 5 so therefore a n of p is equal to 5 n that is b value is 5 so 5 n into 3 raise to n now i have homogeneous solution and particular solution and substituting them into the equation 1 i will be getting a n equals to a into 3 raise to n plus 5 n into 3 raise to n this is my homogeneous solution this is my particular solution and since the a0 value is given the substitute n equal to 0 in equation 2 i will be getting a0 equals to a plus 0 because n is 0 so n is 0 you will get a and n is 0 here i will be getting 0 so which implies a is equal to 2 so therefore a n will be equal to 2 into 3 raise to n plus 5 n into 3 raise to n. So, which implies if I take common factor 3 n, I will be left out with 2 plus 5 n. So, 2 plus 5 n into 3 raise to n is the final solution. So, let us take one more example. Solve a n plus 1 minus 2 a n equals to 2 raise to n. Here, f of n is 2 raise to n. And uh, whenever this condition a n minus a n plus 1 minus 2 a n is given, you have to first convert it into a n minus 2 a n minus 1 form. And this becomes 2 raised to n minus 1, n greater than or equal to 1. You have to convert every time into this standard form. So now f of n is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. So again, homogeneous solution plus particular solution is the general solution. So homogeneous solution is obtained by replacing this f of n by 0. So we'll be getting a n minus 2 a n minus 1 equal to 0. So here d is 2. So homogeneous solution is a into 2 raised to n. So now to find the particular solution, you can observe here, here homogeneous solution is 2 raised to n and f of n is also some 2 raised to something. So therefore, they are not independent so the solution a particular solution will be of the form b n into 2 raise to n minus 1 this 2 raise to n minus 1 because my f of n is 2 raise to n minus 1 so by substituting the a n of p into the given recurrence relation i will be getting so here it is a n it is nothing but b n into 2 raise to n minus 1 minus 2b into n minus 1 into 2 raised to n minus 2 which is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. So here what is the minimum uh, to power it is n 
2 raised to n by 2. So, dividing the whole expression by 2 raised to n minus 2, I will be getting 2 b n minus 2 b n plus 2 b and which is equal to 2 which implies b is equal to 1. Therefore, a n of b will be n into 2 raised to n. b is nothing but 1. So, n into 2 raised to n. So, now I have homogeneous solution and particular solution. So, by substituting them in equation 1, I will be getting a n equals to a into 2 raised to n plus n into 2 raised to n minus 1. So, since the initial value a 0 is given, I substitute n equal to 0 in this equation, I will be getting a 0 equals to a plus 0 because n is 0. So, here 2 raised to 0 is nothing but 1. So, a into 1 is a. So, I will be getting 1 equals to a. So, which implies a is equal to 1. So, by substituting a value as 1, I will be getting a n equals to 2 raised to n plus n into 2 raised to n minus 1. So, which implies a n equals to 2 power n plus n into 2 power n minus 1. n greater than or equal to 0 is the final general solution of this recurrence relation. Thank you.